Now let's make the sound a little bit more interesting. As you can see down here, there is a modulation section and at the moment this section controls the volume. I can see it right here. And in particular, um, I have attack, hold, decay, sustain and release that control the volume over time. This is called uh, an envelope generator and it allows me to control the volume over time. The attack controls how quickly the waveform reaches its peak amplitude. So if I have a longer attack, la, 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 la. see I lose the, the sharp attack that I had before. I can even make it smoother if I want. La, 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 la. The release controls how quickly I go from peak amplitude to zero amplitude after I release the key. So if I have a very long release, la, 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 I release the key now and the sound dies slowly. The sustain controls the volume. As you can see, it's in decibel, it's not in milliseconds. It controls the volume of the section after the peak attack. And in most cases, you want this to be a full volume, 0 dB. But if I have this lower, with the decay, I can control how quickly I go from the full attack to the sustain level. As you can see, very abruptly, I jump to my minus 11.2 dB or I can go very smoothly. The hold allows me to hold that peak level after the attack. So as you can see, you can really shape your sound in nice ways. In this case, I just want a full sustain for the entire uh, length of my key holding. 